I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart, smart shit. shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlamagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Uh, bana- oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? Fuck a glizzy gobbler, bro. Banana man. Double fist. You're not even double fisting. You got one fist, two bananas, bro. That's oh, yeah. the fuck I'm talking about. That's the new challenge. I'm hungry. I That's wanted to have challenge. more than one banana. I don't want to like eat them back to back. So. Potassium, potassium. Mm-hmm. Call that PPs for back sure. To back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You fucking eat those PPs. How do you eat two bananas at the same time? I don't eat two bananas at the same time. Why not? I don't have that kind of mouth. I am in awe of your mouth right now. Thanks, bro. I am in awe of your mouth. Let me see. Seems like you're trying to make this a game. I will thing. say this. I will say it only looks like you're only biting one. Oh, shit. Ooh, they call me the banana man. <laughs> Tropicana man. Uh. Ooh, Wild like that. the Taliban. Yo, we got to remix it. Not rubber band man, <laughs> banana man. man. Banana <laughs> man, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> like the Taliban. Whoa, whoa, why oh, are you making sorry, it gay, son? We just having potassium, we eat fruits, so we can <laughs> take good shit. Yeah, why are that. you making this gay no for no problem. reason, bro? With the Taliban at all. Huh? huh? Damn. Why are you making this weird? I've never seen somebody eat two bananas at the same time. It's How do spectrum. people eat more than Not one even banana, eight. bro? i never seen an eight do that, bro. <laughs> 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 I've never seen that in my life. Let's do this, dude. That's where I learned it. I don't know, This bro. is how you're supposed With to eat bananas. With one hand? You ain't even double fisting, bro. Say again? You're not even double That'd fisting. That'd be weirder to just go like this with it. Like, it's more... <laughs> that, is, that, <laughs> is, that, is, that is wild. That is wild. That is you know, wild. You know, but like, if, if, I, if I want to move the mic or if I want to... I don't understand why you guys are making this so weird. Like, I'm not. I just, I, I'm why impressed. can a guy not have two bananas at the same time? I am impressed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, a little something right here. God, damn. Yeah. Saving that for later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're taking two bananas, you're going to get some stuff on your lips. When did, you first okay. thought, when did you realize that you had the skill to eat two bananas at the same fucking time? I mean, I've always eaten two bananas at the same time. I don't really? understand why you think this is so weird. I don't think it's weird. I'm impressed. I am yeah. genuinely impressed. What I'm really impressed by, I'm like, oh, how long are I those just, bananas? I just gag, so you did, so you did, so. I'm sitting there wondering how long are those bananas because every time you bite into it, it don't look like it's getting shorter. Well, it's something about me putting my lips on something like this, it gets longer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually again, how it works. I don't understand why you're making this so gay. Can we talk it's about It's not gay. Like that? Why do you think it's gay? What's gay? Huh? <laughs> what do you say about this, dude? I don't know. I don't yeah. think it's nothing gay, man. Oh, Double man. the potassium. Uh, oh, Double P. Oh, there you God. go. <laughs> why is this so weird? <laughs> if I just had one banana, it'd be totally it's normal. It's not weird, bro. Somebody gonna be jerking off to this video later. I'll tell you that one. One banana, you gotta break it off. But why would they jerk off to help? If that shit ends up on OnlyFans? What do you mean? (laughs) That shit might end up on OnlyFans, bro. Not OnlyFans, fucking uh, Pornhub. Why? That's, it's kind of fly. Ooh. Nah, it's not as good. It's boring with one. Yeah, it's boring with one. When you do it with two. No, it's because he broke it off. That's the proper way to do it. I didn't break it off. (laughs) There was nothing left. You just the asshole of a banana right now. (laughs) Okay, what's going on with Biden? Oh, man. Joe Biden. Somebody once said that Joe Biden is actually funnier than Donald Trump. Yeah. It's just that they don't let him out the house. Who that, said that? The person that's currently fucking taking two bananas to the throat. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, this is, this, wh- which one is this, Taylor? Okay, this is Joe Biden speaking. I think he's in Puerto Rico. I think he went, I don't know if he's in Puerto Rico, but he's speaking to Puerto Ricans about the uh, hurricane. Listen to what is Joe about Biden to, said. Okay, go. And so I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home, politically. And so we've been here for a long time, uh, <laughs> okay. both for business and pleasure, since you're part of the Third Circuit Court of Appeals and Delaware is as well. And I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee. I spent a lot of time in the northern part of the state. I probably uh, went to shul more than many of you did. <laughs> and that's the tradition. I got raised. I spent a lot of time. I'm practicing Catholic, but I, I, I'd go to services on Saturday and on Sunday. <laughs> Y'all think I, I'm, I, I just could never be a politician. Shul is 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 uh, Jewish. That's the point. 
One oh, day you're saying? Puerto Rican, the next day you're Jewish, bro. Yeah. Like, they did that already in New York. What was that morning show called? Juan <laughs> <laughs> Epstein. <laughs> like, 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 how is he Juan Epstein, bro? How is he Juan Epstein in the span of 48 fucking hours, man? This is ridiculous. I couldn't be a politician. Why? Because you, you, you have to attempt to be all things to all people. Yeah, it's bullshit, huh? And it's like, Joe, you're already the president. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't got to win nothing. Anymore. No. Yeah. So why just lie to people like that? Like the internet doesn't exist. Joe's, yeah. do Joe's doing this shit like cameras and the internet don't exist, bro. Yeah. Like we can't go see what he, he said really Friday. He really don't give a fuck. I want to get to that level don't give a fuck where you don't give a fuck about being president. Like he's over <laughs> this shit. Like usually, you know what I mean? Like, like, usually you care about not losing your job. Or you yeah. care about the, the reaction. You care about being liked. He's old enough where he don't care if he's not liked. You know, old yeah. people don't care. He also has the most important job in the world, arguably, and doesn't give a fuck. It almost feels like, you know, he really was a placeholder. Like, they like, okay, yes. look, we need you to go win this election, mm -hmm. but you're not going to have to do this for the whole four years. But he didn't know that the whole Democratic Party was going to go to shit. Yep. And they didn't really have a bench. Yep. You know what I mean? And they nobody really was going to bench, bro. Yeah, they have no bench. And nobody was going to embrace, you know, the VP. So now he's kind of like just stuck with the position. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Who do you think runs uh, next term? They're not going to run Biden again, right? I think they have no choice. Nah. I, who else? Like who? Like somebody would have to really turn on in the next couple of years, bro. What like, is he gonna run on? What is he gonna say? How, how is he gonna convince us he's gonna make it? I mean, he, he's had some good moments the past couple of months. What do you do? The infrastructure bill. What was that? The veterans bill. What What was the infrastructure bill? The infrastructure bill was the bill for like all the new highways and things like that. The highway's been the same, bro. Oh, listen, he's, he's going to be having contracts all throughout the country. People are going to be eating, you know what I mean? Like that's, uh, that, that's, that's what, that's what, what, that's what, that's what uh, Secretary Pete was out there pushing. They got that done. Who's you Secretary I mean? Pete? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pete Buttigieg, man. He's who told me how to eat the bananas knew, like that. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I was waiting. No, no, I, was like, no, no. I was like, what was he warming up for? He knew he had that in the <laughs> chamber. <laughs> he just wanted me to make sure to let everybody know it was Buddha Judge yeah. he was talking about, <laughs> so, so he could let him fly. <laughs> no, it's crazy because he has a health agenda, and he's like, "We need more fruits and vegetables," and you know, today's yeah, youth yeah, or whatever yeah. like that. It was too much. Um, there's not enough um, <laughs> uh, fiber. <laughs> I've been trying to increase my vitamin D. Matter oh, of fact, oh man, I could tell. Yeah, play the, play that one. This is great. What's this one? This is great. Let me be clear. Oh yes. Yeah, if right. you're in a state where hurricanes often strike, like Florida or the Gulf Coast or into Texas, a vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now. He, they don't even know what Everything the fuck they're marketing anymore. I'm not gonna lie. Like they, 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 they like he's, like he's still marketing some shit hits. from last yeah. year. Yeah. Not even realizing that that shit is done and over with. I got vaccinated because of that. Because of the fucking hurricane. <laughs> I, got, I got vaccinated because <laughs> like, of the hurricane, like, bro. Why, what, what if the hurricane comes and I'm not vaccinated, bro? What, what if the, the fuck? what if there's a flood and I'm not vaccinated? I guess. I, don't, <laughs> I, I guess, bro. I'm just saying, for real, dude. That's a real oh, problem, man, bro. Like this shit is crazy at this point. Yo, what do you think the uh, the rest of the world thinks about American politics? They're laughing. They gotta yeah. laugh, this right? Got, this gotta be like their Dama story. Like, you know how we yeah. people watch that shit and they're like so entertained. They gotta be watching this shit so entertained. Mm -hmm. Really the last six years. Do you think that... We're not really about Obama. It started with Obama. Yeah. No, it started with Bush. Started yeah, Bush. When I, I studied right. abroad yeah, in yeah. Paris, the they was kids clowning up Bush, to me right? was asking me like, why did you guys have Bush as your president? Why is the Kardashians your first family? Yeah. And I had no response. You know that, why Bush yeah. was smart, though? Why, why, why? Well, it's hard to say because we didn't have the internet back then. He didn't really talk too much. It feel like the last three presidents talk a lot. Or is it because we got social we got media? Answer, the, everything's recorded. You That's can put everything is, out. Right? Like, back in the day, the only media that was out there were the media that was tied to the presidents. Yeah, so they dictated yeah, what got out, yeah. what didn't get out. Now, yeah. shit, anybody with a phone is media. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. You don't even got to have a phone. You call yourself media if you're an idiot. What would you call yourself now? I, I was making an Alex media yeah, joke. Yeah, I, I peeped it. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, oh, now her throw some sauce on it, right? <laughs> no, I get it. No, I like <laughs> Alex's name, though. Alex Media. Yeah, I should fight. Because you involved cool, in all forms cool. of media. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, I'm cooking right now. It's I see. just weird, man. We <laughs> just, we're, we're just in a really weird time. I'm watching Trump sue CNN. Wait, he's suing CNN? Suing CNN for, for defamation. What? Defamation? For fucking defamation. What'd they say? They said, well, he's saying that all they do is... uh. Paint him, paint nar- negative narratives about him, you know, and all they all they put out is negative, you know, propaganda about him. And they say that he he said that they never say anything positive about him. Wow. So, I mean, he he's not going to win the case, but I can understand why you would sue for defamation. But I, what I would tell people is like that's the risk you run when you have any opinion based platform. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <clears throat> if, if you're a news network, you should. Be about the news. You should be about the facts. But anytime you got an opinion-based platform, and that goes for all, that goes for radio, podcast, podcast TV. If you're getting on that fucking platform and you have an opinion, mm-hmm. a motherfucker can hit you for defamation if you say some shit that, you know, they don't agree with. Is or some shit right? that they say is a lie. Even if they're, what, what happened to freedom of speech, though? Isn't there like some... Uh... What does that mean? You can say whatever you want, but we always say you're not free of the consequences. <laughs> but, uh, but I thought freedom of speech means you can't be sued for what you say. I don't or know you can't go told. to jail for what you say. <clears throat> Probably maybe not jail, but you can get sued. Is that right? Yes. Wow. Don't yeah. act like you didn't know this. I don't know. <laughs> really? I thought that there were protections, especially no. within like satire and comedy. You know how like you can open up a, a like a business that's satirical? Mm-hmm. Like there was a guy who opened up like fake Starbucks or something like that. Do you remember that sketch that was put out by uh... Starbucks can send him a cease and desist immediately? No, they can't because it's satire. And depends what they use. You can't use the logo. You can't use their font. Fucking, you know what I mean? You might can you might can call it Far Bucks or Star Sense or some shit like that, but you can't use like the green. I'm sure. I'm sure they got that green shit trademarked. I'm sure they got the font trademarked. Mm. I'm sure they got that picture that's in the middle. Who's that? A person? It's like a. Uh, uh, limousine. It is <laughs> not a limousine. Mermaid. <laughs> uh, yeah, dumb, dumb Starbucks. He just and it looks exactly like it. It just says dumb. And, He's and, got the mermaid. He got everything. Put it up right there. He just opened it up, and it was just called dumb Starbucks. And because it was satire, he was able to get away with it. But that's Comedy Central, though. Yeah, it was a sketch show. Yeah, you can't do that in real life. No, no. The, it, it look, it's real life. What do you mean? He really has that? He opened up a... Yeah, Nathan Fielder does the... Look, it's like... It's no way, bro. Yes! Google dumb Starbucks sued by Starbucks. They <laughs> might have, but up. they'll lose. There's no way that that shit is going on. Yeah, you're allowed... It's, it fits under satire. So you're allowed to make fun of it. But not for a business. If I can say that's a whole story. Yeah, for a business. I don't think this is a real business, show. No, they probably shut it down by now, but it was open. And all these people are real customers. Open for this sketch? No, bro. The, the whole thing with his sketches is are they're, they're real. What? Starbucks did not pursue legal action, although it did note to the press that it was evaluating the possibility while reinforcing the Starbucks name is protected, is a protected trademark. Upon the episode broadcast, it was acclaimed by television critics. As I said, it just goes back to what I said. Like, uh, you, you can, they can do it if they want to. Like you, you run whenever you do shit like that, you just run the risk of somebody fucking hitting you no, up. No, you can sue anybody you want, but yeah. you might lose. You probably and could in lose. this situation, you would lose. Nah, they would win that wholeheartedly. No, because it's uh, uh, covered under satire. There's a lot of protection. I don't That's know about satire. That no, it's I'm serious. Huh? I know, but you're making fun of it because look, protections under satire. If they say if, if they say it fucks up their business, I don't know, bro. That's also true. They yeah, have if a it, point. If it fucks up their overall brand, I don't know, bro. They pro- they probably didn't want to fuck with it cuz it, it was funny. They probably laughed at it. You know what I'm saying? But if it was some shit that didn't make them laugh and they was like, "Oh, y'all making our brand look stupid." They'd have pursued legal action, bro. Satire is implicitly protected by the free expression clause of the First Amendment. Nevertheless, it frequently has come under legal attack. Is it worth it? No, <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially now. Uh, 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 that's Comedy Central Viacom. Yeah, they can probably afford take it, the hit. You yes, do it by that's yourself, right? Exactly. And, and and I guarantee you, their legal team said it's low risk. Yeah, I guarantee you they looked at that sketch, and that yeah. legal team said it's low risk. If y'all want to take the risk, do it. But if it was high risk, where they thought Starbucks could hit them and get some money, mm-hmm. they wouldn't have did that shit. Yeah, nah, no way. 
But anyway. What else happened this week, man? Kanye mm -hmm. being Kanye. What were your thoughts on that? I honestly didn't really have any. Uh, put it like this. My thoughts that I had on Kanye are the same thoughts that I always have on Kanye. And whenever I say this, people call me a hater. Mm -hmm. But the reality is I've never met a person in this business who seeks white validation the way Kanye West wow. seeks white validation. And I've been saying this forever. And it's like the same, like we see it all the time when, whenever he's going through it with his corporations, whenever he's going through it with his ex-wife, he's so pro-black. He's being oppressed. They're oppressing the man. The, the man is oppressing the black man. But then when things are good or he's in his circles, like at, in Paris at the fashion show, his slavery was a choice and mm. white lives matter. And it's just like, at, at, at this point, how are you going to be mad for who you know he is. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, how could you look at these pictures and, and get upset? Yeah. That's what he does. This is him. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Well, I think they do matter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course they do. Having did. one, you know. Of course they matter. Yeah. Um, it seems like typical Kanye. I wonder if, like, he realizes that people are starting to find this to be expected. Because the whole thing about these antics are they're unexpected, right? And that's what makes them catch steam and makes them shocking, et cetera. But once they become the expectation for him, then you lose the artistry in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, like we, like I expect this type of shit from Kanye. Yeah. I get, I, I've told Kanye personally. Yeah. I've never seen a black man that seeks white validation like you. Yeah. Like, what I, do you I, say to that? <laughs> I don't want to say. I'll save that for if he ever jump out the window. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But just know it was 100% sucker shit. Really? Yes. It was It was some sucker shit that he said You to clipped me it out of the interview? No, it was never in the interview. Oh. It, was in a, it was in a phone conversation that we had. Uh. But what do you think, Nyla? Um... I'm just emotionally tired of Kanye. Like, I'm not even invested. That, 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 it does nothing for me. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Like there's there's nothing Kanye does anymore that I'm like shocked by. But if his point was to say that Black Lives Matter movement was like not you, valid, Nala, you smarter than that. Yeah, and if, it, if and, that and, was you, the point, his point that, is to get a Nala, you're himself. smarter than that. I know. I'm just saying, if that N was the point, Nala, he did you're, it differently. you're smarter than that, and I'll tell you why. Because the phrase Black Lives Matter is totally different than the organization. Damn if you right. don't like the organization, say fuck the Black Lives Matter organization. organization. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't. Like you can't. He got on uh, Instagram and said the shit. What he said, uh, I, I forgot the exact post, but he was like, "We all know Black Lives Matter was some a bullshit, scam. a yeah. scam." Uh, I just got rid of it. You're welcome, or whatever. That, bro, you're talking about the organization. What that got to do with the statement? Yeah. You saw White Lives Matter. What did you say immediately just now? Thank you. Or they do. No, <laughs> you said my life. Oh, you oh. said yes, they do. Having one. Oh yeah, yeah. So any if, if finally you got it right. I think I said <laughs> oh, I <laughs> finally my voice has been spoken for. There's something like that. Said, everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome, bro. You're talking about the organization. What does yeah. that have to do with the phrase? Yeah. And yeah, there's a difference between feeling Black Lives Matter and what the organization did with those funds. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I don't see how we can keep calling somebody a genius that doesn't understand that simple concept. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Like, you just don't understand that simple concept. And Ooh. poor Nyla. Well, no. Poor young Nyla. Yo, we call they him, just buy into it. Yo, no. he says it and it we, sounds no, good. No, no, no. We call him a musical genius. We don't yes, think everything yeah. he does is genius. Hey, when but it I'm comes no, to the arts, though, we give it to him. But, but when it comes to politics and stuff like this, we don't want nothing but, from him. But, but I'm talking about how easy it is to manipulate people just by tweeting out, uh, yeah. putting on Instagram, everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. You're welcome. Well, yeah. stop. The act was yeah. tasteless. Stop, that yeah. was like his flip. Yeah. But it's a whack flip. It's not even a good flip. You didn't even think that went through, yeah? Yeah. That's I mean, not where, even a good flip. Where was this energy when Black Lives Matter was thriving? You know what I mean? Like, if you really felt yeah. that way about it the whole time, yeah. why'd you wait until all these documents came out and all this other stuff? Like... And where you know what I mean? Wasn't like, at Fashion Week. Exactly, it was at Fashion Week. Yeah, there's yeah. a time and place for it. He's walking around with like a. Actually, that's kind of funny. He says "White Lives Matter" and then he puts a mouth guard in because he knows he's about to get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> that's a a Balenciaga grill. No, it's a boxing mouth guard. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. but that's what you wear when you wear a White Lives Matter shirt, right? <laughs> oh, what's on his lip? Yeah, his lips are looking a little little. Uh, Kensington. Is that herpy or like someone beat him up? Whoa! 
You think that that's what he's got? Zoom in more. What would you say that was, Taylor? A monkey. That's not monkey pox. That looked like. What the fuck are you talking about? That looked like the hurt. Zoom in. Oh my god! I didn't even see that shit. Yeah, he need a little lip. Bro, block. celebrity cold sores matter, bro. <laughs> celebrity, <laughs> celebrity cold sores. It matter, really looked bro. like he just busted his lip. <laughs> that shit looked crazy. <laughs> Yo, that shit legit looks absolutely. Yeah, honestly, it could just be dry lips. You know your lips bleed when they too dry. Nah, yo, lick your lips. Your tongue's right there. <laughs> <laughs> you got no excuse for your lips to be dry ever. Man, you, you, listen, you don't know how much white ass he kissed to get lips that dry. Don't <laughs> touch him. <laughs> Don't judge that man. Oh <laughs> Yo, okay. Kanye's lip looks fucking insane. Can you go zoom in real quick so it looks like a volcano? Yo, what made you think to zoom in anyway? <laughs> Don't show his face at all. Just go so close. <laughs> it looks like a Hawaiian island. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, my God. God. damn, bro. Oh, my God. Dude. He said zoom in so it looks yeah. like a volcano. We're hurt. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts, man. Oh, How man. How do you think that happened? Happened. Was uh, him and Candace Owens fighting over the hood? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know, bro. I just, I just, I really don't even care. I really don't, cause I just know who he is. Yeah. And and, and I, I just, at some point, when somebody keeps showing you who they are, you gotta believe them. And I promise you, he's going. This is just gonna be so funny. In another month or two months, he's gonna be going through it with Adidas or yeah, the Gap, whoever the fuck, whoever is it, Timmy Kim. And he gonna be screaming, "Oh, the black man! This they how they do the black man!" Yeah. And everybody gonna be like, "Yeah, yeah, you right, you right." So this, you think this he, shit don't? Nobody remembers this exactly. So you think he uses his blackness when he's in trouble as Duh. a shield, yes. and then when things are cooking, he, he rejects it. He literally tells us slavery uh, was a choice. Uh, we focus on race too much. Mm. <laughs> he said these things. He act like a mixed person, but he's not mixed. <laughs> You think he had well, maybe race? maybe his genius is he gives a little bit to you guys, a little bit to us, you know. You know me, I just like consistency. So my thing, yes. I'm, I'm always consistent with one thing. There's nobody I've ever witnessed in this business who's black who seeks white validation the way Kanye West does. Wow, it's, un, it's unreal. Wow, you think more than Candace? Um, I don't necessarily think. Candace is seeking white validation. I actually, I believe Candace believes what she believes. I do. I, I genuinely do. I believe Candace believes what she believes. And I don't I, know enough about all her thoughts to say to say I do. You don't believe her, Alex? Cause I Because she, she kind of switched sides. Wasn't she, she a liberal back in the day? And then she started getting paid by... I don't know if she started getting paid, yeah. but, you know, listen, a lot of people get fed up with liberal shit. She's That's a force. There's no oh question. My God. Candace is a force. And oh you got to come God. correct if you're going to say she's full of shit. So that's I, why I say I can't I can't say for sure. But I actually think Kanye brings Candace value down. Mm. Yo, because it looks like she's just doing it for clout. And it's like, you, you, you're you supposed to be about Candace, this you're life. way smarter than this. Yo, th Candace is basically doing what she probably criticized AOC for doing. Talk to me. Mm. Showing up to the fashion event with your political opinion mm -hmm. on, your, on your outfit. Mm. I'm really curious what Candace said. You should have her own said. flagrant. About, I would love to. You should have Candace on flavor. I'm really curious what Candace said about AOC because I thought that was corny as well. But uh, oh no, she, she's she's definitely coming at AOC. But for that specific event, Eat the Rich, you know, she went to the MAGA galley, not MAGA galley. The, uh, what Met was it? Met Galley. Met Galley. Met Galley. is kind of the MAGA Galley, too, bro. Like, everybody there worth $100 million. <laughs> we know who you're voting for. It is the Met Galley, right? Yeah. It's called Met Galley, but I call it the MAGA Galley. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even like, I'm saying every time. <laughs> Which I'm, is where I'm holding my birthday in October, guys. So everybody's <laughs> invited if you guys want to come. Where? A MAGA galley. <laughs> Yo. I don't know what you're saying. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm operating in the future, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm Kanye, dude. I'm fucking so artistic. You're so fucking genius, bro. Yeah, dude, you are so, so fucking bro. smart, dude. Yeah. Look at me at this the Balenciaga Watch show where yo. I'm walking through diarrhea. Like, isn't that fucking artsy? Next week, everybody be eating two bananas, bro. Yeah. With one hand. Dude, that's what, that right there was artsy, what I just did. Dude. No, that was, it was, it was, it was. That's a you know what I'm baby. doing, right? What? I'm trying to destigmatize monkeypox, bro. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, did you know that people stopped buying bananas when monkeypox became popular? Did you know? I think that? I read some shit like that. No, for like you know, how Corona during Corona, Corona beer no, sales stopped. Yeah, 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 they yeah, stopped yeah. eating bananas. And curious of George pox. books. Nobody buying oh, curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's yeah, yeah, curious yeah, about I heard, George. No, I heard about that shit. So I, I need to destigmatize monkeypox. I'm eating two, three, four bananas at the same time. Why my jaw tired, bro. My jaw tired, bro. One hundred percent. Why not? Everybody trying to have smoothies now. 
Everybody you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what about what about the bananas, bro? Peel them back. And <laughs> peel them back. What did Van say? Van probably said something way too smart about this situation. Wait, what did Van say? Hold on. What did Van say? This, it, see, this don't Van wrote all of that. Man, don't get Van worked up writing essays. See, I'm not writing no essay about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're getting a couple bars. That's we it. don't need a reminder of the worth of white lives. Well, that's each their own. America is a shrine <laughs> to the worth of white people. This message is reactionary to a message affirming black lives, which have never been worth anything in America. In its intent, it's a white supremacist notion. Because it posits that we can't have a conversation about the worth of black people without having a conversation about the worth of white people, which is fucking insane. The notion that it always has to be about white people in America is incredibly frustrating, agreed, emotionally draining, absolutely, and the whole problem facts. But here's Kanye, apparently centering that notion. I mean, listen, that is the thing, right? I wonder if he even knows what the phrase Black Lives Matter means. What, like, do, you, what do you, what does it mean to... I mean, I, I think it's a phrase that people started saying because uh, America was consistently and still consistently shows people that black lives don't Yo, what if, truly matter in this country. What if the what if the saying was black moms matter? Do you think he was supported then? Uh, maybe not. On, maybe. I years, know he's I know. That's a good ago. question. I know he's not doing a whole thing about. That's a good question. You know what I mean? Maybe 10 years I, ago. But his wife, who is the new mom in his life, is not black. So he probably won't. Yeah, but he had such a deep relationship with his mother. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, maybe you would have more empathy if if this phrase affected the people that you care more about in this world than anything else. <laughs> You're acting like he's not black. <laughs> but I don't think he cares more about black people than anything else. I think he cares more about uh, making fucking dresses or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like I think oh, 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 black fashion matters? Ooh. Oh, Kanye, Kanye will fight you over that shit. I bet you, I bet you, Kanye be like, I'm not a black fashion Oh, yeah, he, oh, he's definitely I'm all a fashion fa matters. Yeah, he's, yeah all he's oh, oh, my God. You say black fashion matters around Kanye, he will all fashion matter you to fucking death. Oh, my God. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Kanye is all fashion He's matters, all fashion sure. matters. Yeah, Kanye yeah. is an all fashion matter ass yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. bro. I don't know, man. It's just I, what it's, it's an interesting ability to have to constantly get people in a frenzy because it really does show mm -hmm. how much you mean to people. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. But I don't think he means that much anymore because the reaction to this hasn't been that big. Is it just yeah, me or I don't like think a lot of people care? I think people just really? don't. I think it's just the blogs that's posting it. But everybody I've talked to, everybody I talk to about the people. It, yeah, they're the like, blogs are doing it because they know it's going to generate yeah, traffic. People are yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, Kanye, yeah. And it's their right. job to react to the news. Right. This is news. I'm, I don't think the blogs are doing anything wrong, but I think the people are basically going, oh, yeah, here's another stunt. Okay, good. Another stunt. I just, my, my thing is just don't do stunts at your own expense. My thing is use chaps. Like, <laughs> like, your own, your people's expense. Yeah. I ain't his people's. But I get what you're saying. I mean... No, I get what you're saying. Oh, I'm man. with you, but that's what I mean. <laughs> but, but but when I say your own extent, that's what I mean. I mean, like, just you're, you're black at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And you say that you have black kids. That's what you said. You said this. You said you got black kids. I mean, he does have black kids. That's what, that's he, what said he said. Yeah. He said he got black kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, what are you saying about your black kids' lives? What are you saying about your life? What are you saying mm. about every black person in your family's life? Like, it's just a weird thing to do. Like, what are you standing on? If it said all lives matter, would this even be a conversation? All yeah, but white is more provocative. And yeah. he's trying to provoke. And I get it. It's fashion week. Like, everybody's trying to be provocative within. We would have never known he was even doing a fashion show in Paris. No, we did because he was walking in the mud. I didn't think nothing of it. He had on mud boots. I'm like, he was in the rain. I'm in yeah, fucking yeah. In the rain all day wondering where the fuck is the Kanye West mud boots. I saw <laughs> Ivy on the day she had the fucking mud boots. I'm like, that's smart. I want some goddamn mud boots. Uh, yeah. I didn't think I didn't know that was a fashion show. Why would I think that was a fashion show? Him walking in the mud and mud boots. Yeah, it doesn't seem very fashionable. There's nothing about it seems fashionable. Like, no, why would no. I think that was a fashion show? Yeah. Now I know he had a fashion show. Yeah. In Paris at that. Yeah. Hey, God bless him, man. I don't get I really truly don't give a fuck past a couple of jokes. And I think it's sad because one day Kanye's gonna really, really, really need black people, bro. Well, I mean, that's really, at the end of the day, up to you guys how much you're willing to support, but you seem to be uh, willing to forgive no matter what he does. Who? Black people. Oh, shit. As he mm. reaches for a drink to sip. 
what y'all gonna do, black mm. people? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my mic, right? I just, yeah, was unplugged a little. No, I just I see all the black people looking at Andrew after he picked up his coffee after dropping a maybe a truth bomb on the floor. Mm. What you what's up, Nyla? Mm. I mean, is that true? Mm. No, this doesn't apply to me. I've been checked out of Kanye. That's fair. Get you some Crocs. Call it a day. I you can't do Crocs. Croc, the Croc dude. You don't think he was making shoes for Duck Dynasty Why in there fucking this, people? Speaking of Duck Dynasty, that's what the fuck this shit looks like. Why would I think this is a fashion show? I don't know, dude. What this is, is this Dick about? Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye didn't have a fashion show. He reenacted Dick Dynasty. Bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. He looks like a sperm inside. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> 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 Come on. Come on, bro. Just marching what around am I angry. Doing here? Where the fuck what? are you? To- what? Hey. What? Where is this place? Where the fallopian tubes at, yo? This shit look crazy. It smells weird. Oh. What's going on in here, yo? Oh. What is going on What's in here? What's wrong with this guy? Yo. Do you know this guy? <laughs> Don't he look like that one sperm, bro? <laughs> oh. Oh my God, man! Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker every time wrong I don't hole, care, man. <laughs> every fucking time, so bro. Crazy. Yeah, I came out swimming fast as fuck. <laughs> I'm all ready to find the egg, and this oh. motherfucker over here. Oh. God damn, bro! Oh. Got me lodged in the oh, anus. Oh man, <laughs> isn't that oh. crazy? This guy is so crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'm lodged in this anus, bro. Oh, man. What else? <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like for them sperms, man, bro, dude? That bro, all crazy. jokes aside. Yeah, you see that a mad corn. A you try to dodge funny. corn, bro. You say, Yo, why is that, that is corn a funny and lettuce all over the sketch, bro? Yo. <laughs> that is a funny Because you come out hot, right? You're just like Usain Bolt, like, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, bro. You're just nothing and dirty, bitches. Like, God damn. Why does pussy smell so bad? God, Link. What the fuck, bro? Oh, shit. This bitch got a whole corner of the cob in the pussy. Why? Why is it? Is that arugula? What the fuck? Why there's so much corn and arugula in the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, bro. God damn it. Oh, did he just <laughs> Ain't no way, no, bro. But you ain't you ain't you didn't you missed one, man. <laughs> what? Blood passing by I'm like, oh that's you again? At first he's excited, he's like, it is a pussy. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh, Not period God. time. <laughs> oh, what else? <laughs> what oh man! Yeah, you guys are you guys are crazy, oh. dude. Did you see? see <laughs> you fucking you nuts, see? dude! Come on, man! Did you see the Dama? Yo, Kim K on a true crime podcast. Oh, I love true crime. I just didn't like the Dama documentary. Why not? Because I like my true crime to have a point. Meaning that a lot of the true crime I'm into, it'll show you things like you know, it'll be cases that are unsolved. So it's bringing awareness to mm. a case that's unsolved. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, it's it's a, like when we did um Finding Tamika, yeah. you know, yes, they had already caught the guy and stuff, but there was so many things that came from that case, like organizations were established because of that yeah. case. And it brought awareness to the plight of missing black women around the country. It's yeah. just like the Dama doc just seemed like entertainment. Yeah. Like, and, and, it, yeah. and, and they're really... It wasn't a message. It wasn't... No, I mean, maybe a slight message. It was about like he was able to get away with this because he's gay. You know? Just gay? Oh, you didn't? Not the white part? Well, well, well and white, but yeah. mostly gay. Like, the cops would come, he'd have, like, a dead body, and they'd be like, what's that? And he'd be like, oh, I was just, just doing gay, gay shit. things. Yeah, he'd be like, that's some gay shit. And the cops are like, like Ugh. yeah. I'm like, well, people were that homophobic in the night? Yes, bro, it was a shield. God damn. Bro. Yeah, that when was the bu- 80s, When too. they bought the 14-year-old back to him. That was crazy. Bro. That was nuts, bro. That was crazy. Like, they didn't check no ID, no nothing. He just claimed the 14-year-old, like, uh, and he showed him some pictures, and they're like, oh, that's gay. What do you got like, pictures of That's my of boyfriend. Guys? Yeah. Everybody's saying to him, like, and they're telling the cops, like, yo, he's he looks like he's underage. Yep. Like, nah, that's my boyfriend. Can I just mm-hmm. please bring him back upstairs? Mm-hmm. Like, this motherfucker's drugged. Yep. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I I, I just, mm. I didn't see the point. Was it yeah. good? Yes. No, the, the documentary. Great was horror story. I mean, amazing. And the fact that it's real is just insane. And also, you Why got, do they keep calling it a documentary? It's not a documentary. No, that's right. It's a movie. Everybody it's keeps like saying it's a mini series. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, actually yeah. kind. Of, it's in a weird, sick, twisted way. It's like a a romance. 
Yeah. It's yeah. like this guy's, he's really, that's what, to me, they make Jeffrey Dahmer look like he's looking for love. Yeah. And he's never been loved by anybody truly. Not they make even, you feel bad for him. And I, and I didn't go that far. I no. didn't feel bad for him. I definitely didn't feel bad for him. Yeah. But I, 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 the way they portray his parents and how his mom didn't really fuck with yeah, him. Yeah, like what he went through. Dad constantly asking him where's his girlfriend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, he just was lonely when the, the don't leave me. Yeah. Like, also the fact that like, most people, when they kill, this is something I was thinking about. Like, most people, when they kill, they just leave your body there, which is like, that's two things that are wrong. Yo, that was the why. That was, there was one part where he goes, yeah, yeah I just took his bones and threw him in. Like, like I was a LeBron James shit. I yeah. just threw him around because I wanted them all around but me. No, but isn't what that. What the fuck? No, but he, like, I don't know. He put the, he, like, crushed him up and he put it in the garden. Like, he does it. He, like, does something with them afterwards, you know. Dama needed a dog. Say again? He needed a dog, bro. He needed a pet. That motherfucker no. was just no. lonely, don't bro. don't fuck with cats. He, he needed a pet. The same thing. Yeah, he would have. You know, he, he just kills everything that's yeah. around him. You think I, so? Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. Like, do you want to be killed and just left there? Or do you want to be killed? No, but if you are killed, like, if you, don't you want to be like the Native Americans? They use every part of the buffalo. Like, oh, that, that's nah, what Dahmer is. Bro, I don't want that. That's that's. Like, that's wild. Like, you, yo, that's the wildest part, right? It's one thing to kill somebody, mm -hmm. but to be cutting them up and fucking eating them and spreading their bones around. Like, you got to be a different type of level sicko to do that. I like that. I like that. I like that more than just shoot me and leave me there because that's littering. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're already going to kill me, don't also ruin the environment. Make, do something. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Do something that's You know like, you used to fuck the dead bodies? Yeah. Jesus oh Christ. Who? I'd rather you Jeffrey do it Dama. with I'm, I'm dead. Dama was wild. Like he, yeah, he really was one of those people, like, he kind of got, like, old grandma energy. Yeah. Because you know how your old, your grandma don't ever want you to leave when you come over? Yeah. Yeah. That's how he is, bro. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Exactly. No, that's exactly what Dahmer is. Like, yeah, stay, yeah, don't yeah. leave. Why are you in such a rut? Like, he was that type of person. Yeah, that's right. Is fact. it possible, though? Because it won't be up. What do you mean? Oh, uh oh. Never mind. <laughs> Goddamn, Nyla. Yeah, yeah. Never Nyla just realizing how this works. <laughs> Nyla, you just realizing how this works? Sorry, shut I, up. I, I'm like so baffled right now <laughs> <laughs> that she even said what she just said. Can you imagine she waiting on a corpse to get hard? I'm so, like, how is that? My God. <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> I mean, oh, you know what? Can you imagine? Nah, what, if, <laughs> <laughs> what if Dama was a bottom, though? <laughs> nah. I think he was clapping. Bottom. I think he, he was clapping them cheeks. Clapping wasn't. dead cheeks. Yeah. Clapping dead cheeks. He, sure. it was, he was. They sure, They proved he was. Yeah. Oh, my God. The guy is, I've never seen, I, I don't know if there's a sicker story in American history. Than Dahmer. Not in, my, not in modern day. Yeah. Not yeah. that I've seen. Not, yeah. not nah, that I've seen or heard. That's, yeah, that's just insane. That, like, that shit is sick, bro. Like, he was, he was different. Like, different. Yeah. Different. Yeah, it's different. kind of wild. And, and got killed in prison. No, he didn't. Did he really? Yeah, he got killed in prison. Oh, I didn't know that. I killed him. I think that's going to be it. That's, that's the last episode. Who killed him? I forgot who the dude was. Look it up, Taylor. Who the, and you know they're coming out with a documentary right after this? Of course. There's a documentary, because you know how in the movie it shows him talking to the police? It's literally a doc of just all his confessions. Mm. Oh. Just him talking about it. That's why the family, I really do feel like the family should get paid. Yo, like, go on that. I, I, you, I like to talk you, about that. You should not be able to create a, a story like this. What's his name? Christopher Scarver. Yep. Christopher Scarver, a fellow inmate at the Col Columbia Correction Institution in Portage, Wisconsin. Yeah, I just feel like the, uh, the the family members should get paid. You should reach out to the family members, man, because you're taking a lot of, like, artistic license with these stories. You're including the family members, right? Yeah. So, like, you're showcasing the family members. They have actors. You're also bringing back their trauma, and you're profiting off of it. So you're telling their story. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe they got approval from them, but it is weird. But Netflix just loves serial killers. But like, then everybody got to get paid. They That's should, the, the though. The police officers got to get yeah. paid. Like, yeah. Oh, the everything. police officers should definitely get paid. Yeah. Because oh, you talk so. about Kasu for defamation. Facts. Mm. You make them look inept. Come on. And yeah. make it look like they don't give a fuck. And I'm not saying that they did, but make them look, they, you really make them look terrible. Yeah. All you got to say is loosely based on it. And then, and then it's it. Not That's if you privilege. use my name. You can't say loose. I mean, I'm not saying I don't know what the the laws are, but if you say loosely based on, yeah. and you're using my actual name, and you got me doing wild shit that I never did, I'm, I might come after you for defamation, bro. Yeah. Like, why not? Yeah. 
I don't feel like they should get paid. Who, the family? Talk that yeah. shit, Nyla. <clears throat> Why? Talk because that shit. Because it's not like it's like a positive thing. It's creepy. Yeah, but That's why are you rewarding me for, for creep stuff? You're That's re-traumatizing me. You're re-traumatizing me by depicting somebody in my family getting drugs, raped, eaten, maybe the, the Maybe the victims of the families of the people that died should get paid, but that's about it. That's mm. what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about his family. Oh, the mom, Nyla, the dad, Nyla, Yo, Nyla, 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 Nyla where are you? Yo, I don't know. I'm sorry. Nyla and Taylor, have y'all switched places? <laughs> Nyla, what the fuck is happening? Like, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on, you know what, Nyla? Done, Nyla? Nyla, what's happening? I don't know. Are you cloned? No. What Nyla, the fuck is going on? I think Nyla? that might be a little tight, you that sleeping? thing around your head. What right is going on? I think you got to loosen that thing up, Because, God damn. Jesus Christ. Are you with us today? I'm really lost. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Jesus. Well, next topic, next topic. Go ahead, Taylor. Okay, what else do we got? Well, let's go to another thing. Why y'all mad at Life for telling his story? What did Life Jennings do? One day, you know, we in maximum, you know, maximum security. And they like, everybody gets the wall because I was a porter in the little in the little thing, the little bridge where they, uh, you know, put inmates and stuff like that. So they're like, everybody gets the wall, everybody gets the wall. So they bring the white boy in, right? So he come and it just so happened that they put him in the cell next to me. I'm out there sweeping and mopping or whatever. So anyway, you know, he was only there just for, you know, a short period of time, whatever. I don't even remember, really remember how long. But, you know, the first, like, day and a half, two days, like, you ain't really hear nothing from the cat. I don't see the... I, but, I really don't understand why people like, were upset with days, life telling this story. What did he say? You know, he just basically said that uh, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer was in the so cell next to him and Jeffrey Dahmer liked the R&B or some shit like that. Oh, they were in jail together? Yeah, he said. whatever. If Jeff really did this, I think Jeff was trolling, but he said Jeff loved pretty brown eyes. And if you read about, I don't know if they showed this in the TV show, but if you read about Jeffrey Dahmer, he used to keep some of the eyeballs of the victims. Yeah. And he used to walk around with them in his pockets until they turned that. into maggots. Oh. And he, used to, he was obsessed with the heart, too. Yeah, he'd cut out Since he was heart. young, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The other song was uh, uh, Breaking My Heart by... Um, don't go breaking my heart. Yeah, break it. You're breaking my heart. Who was that? Mint Condition? Mint Condition. Oh. Yeah. And who was Pretty Brown Eyes? Pretty brown eyes. Same song. <clears throat> brown eyes, like girl. Same song? Yeah. <laughs> it is. You are my my brown eyed girl. Did he say that? That's what he said. Say, See me remember oh, when shit, we used to say. Oh shit! No that's the same song. No one that. Oh shit! That's that's not it. La ti da. Sha la 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 la. By the way, why you why you you can't be mad at life for telling his story like. Jeffrey Dahmer, they, everybody talking about him right now. When now, yeah, if you're gonna bring clicks. it up, bring it up now. Get your clicks. Shout out Life Jennings, yo. Yeah, salute to life, man. Let's pay some bills, man. Yes, sir. Guys, this episode has been brought to you by Blue Chew, <laughs> the hardest dicks in the motherfucking business. Hey. Same active ingredients. It's inside Cialis or Viagra, but this is the chew. It's the one we rock with, and we're happily married, so you know it works. Okay. What I'm saying is, it's fall. It's big dick fall. Okay. And if you aren't filling it up in fall, you're going to be a lonely man in winter. So what you need right now in your life is full blood circulation in your penis. And Blue Chew's got your back. For the first month, you're going to get it free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. You go to BlueChew.com. Use the promo code. What is it, Taylor? BlueChew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS with an S. You get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Go out there. Get it. Thank us later. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, church announcements. What we got show? Yes, sir. Yo, uh, thank you so much, everybody who's been watching um, Infamous. Uh, my new special is officially available on YouTube right now. We did five million a I week. See you ran up days, five million. Still, that was crazy, man. So, yeah, I want to. I want. Yeah, keep watching it. Keep sharing it. Thank you, everybody who's been sharing it, posting on your social media. That's huge for me. And just sending in your group chats, your WhatsApps, whatever it is, like. Just keep running it up, man. That that means a lot to do that. Word. Um, what you got going on, man? Same shit. Uh, Mental Wealth Expo this Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Uh, it's a free event. All you got to do is go to mentalwealthexpo.com to register to be there. We have some amazing, amazing people, man. We have, uh, of course, my good sister, Debbie Brown. Uh, we have Dr. Rita Walker. We have Nadra Tawab Glover. We have Dr. Spirit. We have Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. I got Wallow and Gilly doing a special conversation about the impact of the prison system uh, on your mental health. 
uh, my man G Herbo and Joey Badass. They're going to be there doing a, a, a hip hop and mental health panel with uh, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. Uh, Pastor Torrey Roberts and Sarah Jakes Roberts, they'll be giving the keynote speech and you should really, really, really get there early because, you know, uh, we like to start with a bang. So, you know, I think they'll probably be going first. <laughs> so, so you should really get there. It starts 11 to 4, so make sure you're there on time. Um, and it's a great event, man. You know, it's a day of mental health, healing, and education. This Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Free event. Just go to mentalwealthexpo.com to register. And a uh, hell of a week this Thursday, 11.30 p.m. on uh, Comedy Central. We back with another new episode right after The Daily Show. Uh, the last days of Trevor Noah on The Daily Show as you know it. Bruh, you hit me with the news early, bro. You were TMZ Charlotte. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it was crazy. Because well, he did it at the taping, and they tape during the day like we do. Right, you know, right. On Thursdays. Well, you know, I mean, he tapes every day, but they tape on Thursdays as well. So what do you think? The, do you know the real reason? What do you think the real reason? Are there multiple I think, reasons? I, I think the real reason is um the, 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 the ever-changing landscape of the game. Mm. And I think that after COVID, people want to really, truly do what makes them happy. You know what I mean? As opposed to doing what they think they have to do. Mm. You know what I mean? So he probably really enjoyed doing The Daily Show the first seven years. But mm. I mean, he has a he has a real love for stand-up. Trev comes from stand-up. Imagine if you, and I use you as an example because, you know, you, you're a stand-up comedian and you love the road. But imagine you decided to say, you know what, I'm going to take this job and I'm going to do this every day. You ain't going to do that shit for, for I, I can I can look at you and be like, Schultz ain't going to do that forever. So if you bring, yeah. bring Schultz in, just know this could be a year. It could be two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It might might not last that long. You know what I mean? And I think yeah. Chris Rock back in the day when they wanted Chris to host the Daily Show right after Jon Stewart. Ironically, before Trevor took the job, there was rumors that Chris was going to do it. I mean, that would have been fucking amazing. He only wanted to do a year, though. That, that was Chris's thing. Chris was like, I only want to do a year. Can I tell you what the real reason why I think that is? Mm -hmm. And it's... um. I'm not trying to count pockets, but like I know a little bit about the game and Trevor Noah was making unbelievable money doing the daily show. Absolutely. I think he was making 16 million a year or something like that. Was that like that? Right. What? Yeah. So it's like surprised you making that much. Well, this is an older deal when TV was more relevant and there were more viewers yeah, yeah, and it was yeah, based yeah. on that. Right. And, uh, but you get in that. And, but now Trevor Noah, when he's doing arenas, cause he can do arenas, he's making probably a million dollars a show. And, and he's doing something that he genuinely loves to do. Right. He don't have to be any at any sh any set schedule. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think that plays a lot into it where it's like, if you want me to do a thing, and same with Chris Rock, it's like, Chris Rock, I'll give you a year of my life where I'll sacrifice the amount of money I would be making on the road, but you can't, you can't pay him more than he's going to make on the road. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. if the job isn't interesting or fun anymore and you can make more money elsewhere. Yeah. Like, you're willing to take the decrease in pay for how much you enjoy doing the thing. That's right. Once that joy goes away, shit, I'm going to go make the money. And, and that's how it should be, right? I think Absolutely. I, 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 I pray that everybody alive has that sense of freedom at one point, at some point in life. They get to yeah. feel how it feels to walk away from something because you genuinely want to. Yeah. Because there's something else out there that you genuinely enjoy doing more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I I think it's as simple as that. Like, I, I really do. I don't think it's any... I mean, I know it's not. I know it's I know it's as simple as that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, everybody's not a creature of habit. I'm a creature of habit. And... I, I like structure. Yeah, exactly. But, but you also get compensated for your structure. And there isn't another thing that you might do outside that you know could compensate you even more. That's right. This is what I love to do. Exactly. I like getting up, going to the radio in the morning. That's why you sometimes started. Sometimes I might do it. I, I might enjoy doing it from my house a little bit more yep, sometimes yep, nowadays. But yep. you know what I mean? I still like doing it. You still like doing it. You know it. what I mean? I yeah. like going somewhere to do a TV show. I enjoy I love coming to Bernie to do the podcast. I yeah. love, this is what I like to do. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Everybody don't like that kind of structure. That's true. And you know? especially like you said earlier, like Trevor came up with stand-up. Mm -hmm. So he's always had a passion for stand-up. And if he can make more money, this is what I assume it is. I assume the contract was coming up. And, I think uh, he had another year. Yeah, so like maybe there's one more year, and I, you, you know, you start those negotiations, 
And they say something probably like, listen, not as many people are watching TV as they used to. So we can't find a way to monetize the show in the same way we used to. Oh, no, I tried so, to kill it online, though. Yeah, but online... Streaming and his internet YouTube shit is through the roof. No, no, no. There's no question that, that uh, the YouTube stuff is doing well, but they can't monetize YouTube like they can monetize TV. The ad know. sense that Honestly. you're making on YouTube is just not even close to what you're making. If, it's just not. And they could maybe get their own but segment. But streaming, though, sponsored. he does really good on streaming, too, on Paramount Plus. Sure. Yeah. But it's not what they used to do. Oh, of course. Right? So it's like, I think they were like, listen, the show's got to downsize a bit to accommodate that. And I think he did the smart career thing, which is... He actually did downsize during COVID, which is so interesting. But everybody did, so it didn't really yeah, yeah, matter. Yeah. But, like, I think the smart career decision is always to get out before the thing folds. And him choosing to get out before the show becomes a lot smaller version. Like, remember when Carson Daly had his late, late night show and then it turned into like a show where he would like go to different locations and then interview. Oh, I know. I did that show three times. It was mad as fuck because I never interviewed with Carson Daly. Yeah, exactly. You're sitting at a bar and somebody asking you questions. Yeah. And, they and then they chop it up to yes. make it look like yes. he's doing it. A hundred percent. So it's like the budget just kept shrinking and Carson was like, I'm going to ride this ship until it's done. And God bless him for that. But I think what, he's doing, what Trevor's doing is going like, let me get off this shit before this shit sinks and then I get all the blame for it sinking. I think it's a smart move. I don't think it's going to sink. I think that it makes too much money for Comedy Central. Ah, uh, there's no it, way it makes money. Oh, no, it definitely makes money. It wouldn't be on the air. It definitely there's makes There's shows that are on the air that don't make money. I mean, yeah, but did, 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 The Daily Show still has a... The Daily Show has an audience that is is habit. It's been on for 20... Mm -hmm. It's like SNL. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like SNL for Comedy Central. I don't think SNL will last that much longer, to be honest with you. Well, because Lauren wants to give it up. Lauren said it'll be, I think he wants to give it up at 50 years. So they're at what, 47? I mean, when Keenan was on Hell of a Week earlier this year, he said that he said he thinks 50 is a nice, good number to hang it up at. Yeah. Because once Lauren doesn't want to do it anymore, there's nobody going to have that passion for it. You know what I mean? Lauren built it. That's his baby. 50 years, he walks away. And will NBC have a replacement for it? Probably not. Because some of that shit is just tried and true. Like, you know what the audience is. You know who's watching. It's an institution. That's It's an institution. And when you're an institution like that, some advertisers are just like, here, it's just 15 million for the year. You it, know what I mean? It's the greatest comedy institution in American history. SNL? I mean, I can't think of another one. Nah, I can't. I mean, nah, I can't. I mean. What's that? Yo, Carson, but I don't think Carson went nah, for as long, right? No way. And it's like. The impact that SNL has had, like, I'm trying to give it up to a show that I don't really watch or I'm not that much of a fan of anymore. It's definitely SNL. But but SNL, the history of what uh, the accomplishment is. Who? Yeah, no, Simpsons is another one, too, that you got to look at. And then even like South but, Park and these shows. But, but like, but no, I, you can't really compare when it, when an SNL guest hits. It is national. But you're talking about the guest. Think about the cast. Yeah. Think about the people that have come from SNL. No, no, that, that like, it's the greatest. Chevy Chase, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, it's the greatest Chris comedy Rock, institution. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Yep. Tina Fey. Yep. Like, it's not even close. Belushi, that's right. Belushi, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not even, it's not close. Yeah, no, I, I mean, you got to give it up for what it was and the accomplishment. If they want to do a few more years, they could do a few more years. I'll go to 50. I think the real issue is just, just not making money anymore. And I think that when this, I think it's probably very expensive to make. I can't I imagine that. how expensive a show to create that much content one day a week. The staff must be huge. The budget must be insane just to do that. Like it's a huge accomplishment yeah, yeah. every single week to do it. And the people just aren't watching like they used to watch. Times change. Fucking shows evolve. Like late night is different than what it used to be. You see a lot of these late night shows are. Conan's no longer doing it. Samantha B no longer doing it. The late night shows will eventually no longer exist. And then other forms of entertainment well, will take over. They'll exist in other forms. They do already. It's podcasts. This yeah, is how we watch late forms. night now. And you watch it when you want to, not when the TV tells you to. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what's happening with the late night shows now. That's why if you go, you go look at Kobe, you go look at Kim over there, YouTube numbers are through the roof. The yeah. motherfuckers wake up in the morning and they, they watch the, the, the good parts. They watch the good parts. Yeah. That's, by, by the way, that's all you really want them to see. That's it. At the end of the day. Now, you they have to find a way to profit off of that. And they haven't figured that out. We have because we're in a podcast space. We know how no, to do have. it. No. no, they have. Well, maybe well, you know more more about no, the guys, streaming these, side these, than these me. But. These are still multi-million dollar shows. Like, that's, let's not get that fucked up. Like, no, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like they are they have a deal with the cable company. The network has a deal with the cable company, so they have to provide the cable company with a certain amount of well, television. Well, not the networks. Not the network shows. Not yeah. the not the uh, Colbert's and the chemicals. That's basic television. The Colbert's, the chemicals. And that's the other thing that we feel oh, to realize. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those shows like that, 
there's there's still more people watching basic TV than cable just for just off habit. You know what I mean? NBC will be on in somebody's house. Or yeah. CBS will be on in somebody's house. Or ABC. That's why there's still cachet in the daytime shows, the late night shows. The, the, yo, who the fuck still watches soap operas? <laughs> Everybody. I don't. But Days of Our Lives, Bold and Beautiful, them shipping on forever. Mm -hmm. Like, so, I don't know. It's, it's still it's still cash in. Daily Show, they'll probably bring a woman in, I'm sure. You know what I mean? I would probably bring in a duo. You know what I mean? I think that would be different. What about you? Would you do it? No. Nah. you next in the time slot. No. I'd rather, I'd rather build my own. But listen, I'd never say never, but I'd rather build my own franchise because I don't think it ever works when you're stepping into... A, a great men's shoes. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. I think Trevor did a really great job, but all things considered, he did a great job. I mean, the shoes that he was stepping uh, into were the, the great, the greatest political comedian in history. Not even close. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like when you go back and you watch John Stewart shit now, you like, wow. And not and not and here's the thing that John Stewart did that's so amazing. He absolutely disrupted not just television, he disrupted all society. Society, yeah. He's still getting shit done. He's John Stewart is getting legislation passed. Right now. John Stewart has sitting president saying, this happened because of you. But that's the thing that, that's the thing I, I really, I don't know, I, for me, if I'm like Trevor, it's like John grew up in America, seen all these things happen in America, is incredibly invested in America. Trevor came here to be famous. Those are, now he's part of this like political institution show. He's got to like learn to care about politics and then learn what a conservative is and what a Democrat is, what the beliefs are, what all these things. Very, is. very well read, though. No, no, there's no question that he's yeah. not. He's an intelligent dude, but like it's not ingrained in who he is as a person. He's a voyeur on American politics, whereas oh. whereas whereas John, when he's not being the host of the show, he's getting firemen rights because they yeah, ran yeah, into yeah. the fucking 9-11 uh, uh, the buildings yeah, when the during 9-11. Yeah, like, yeah. like it is through every fiber of his being. If I moved to London and I did a, po a political show, I don't give a fuck what's going on in Parliament in but, London. But this is where Trevor wins. And it's interesting when situations like this happen because they treat you like you die. So everybody mm -hmm. starts talking good about you. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you read all of these articles about Trevor and the void, people think he's going to leave in late night. To your point about American politics, people feel like Trevor opened up their worldview to global politics. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that, but that every article I've read from Variety to Deadline, that's how people look at Trevor. Mm. Like Trevor opened up people's eyes to global politics. Even the way he used to break down things in America, he would of, often do it in correlation to things that happened in South Africa mm. during apartheid, you know, and he's very well versed on Global politics. Smart guy. There's yeah, no yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he's not smart. I'm saying it's a different investment when you go to a place to be a famous person and when you oh, yeah. literally dedicate your life to politics and, and the political and, and political comedy, which is what John did. And if you're, no, I'm not trying to sound silly. Well, maybe I, I can't help but sound silly because I'm a silly person. But this is America. Yeah. They're only going to give a fuck about global politics so much. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They would much rather hear John Stewart yeah. talking about the 9-11 and the veterans. And like, just things that happen in America, yeah. they relate to John more. You know what I mean? But Trevor did a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. You know what I mean? And he's going to be great at whatever he chooses to do. I mean, they're making a movie out of his book, mm -hmm. Born a Crime. Uh, he's got. Like, he's gonna be fine. He's, he's gonna made be, tons He's of already money. rich. Yeah, he's made tons of money. He's he's he did it for seven fucking years. It's hard to do anything oh, for seven fucking God, years. God, man. Yes, you know what I mean? So yeah, he's gonna be fine. Yeah, everything's man. gonna be fine. Yes. The show, I don't know. I don't know what will happen with the show. To be honest with you, it's gonna get a woman host. I I I, I think, I believe it'll get a woman host. Mm -hmm. Um, and it'll keep on for as long as it keep keeps on. Like it's, it's that's it. Like the Daily Show is one of those. You can, the, the, they've had this. The same showrunner for such a long time. Writers, like, you plug somebody in there that's talented, that got a POV, it'll, 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 it'll be fine. It'll do its thing. It'll be, it'll be, I think it'll be fine. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Taylor Gang. Um, I was going to put up the Antonio Brown. Oh, yeah. What did Antonio Brown do? AB posted a picture of him and Giselle, bro. That shit was wild corny, dude. Why? That's corny, B. It's Come a pic. What, what did he say? What was the caption? No, that was corny. What that do you mean? Don't wrong. matter what the fucking that caption is. Your man's is going through divorce. You didn't know Tom Brady and Giselle hired lawyers. They're getting divorced. 
Really? I didn't know. Yeah. That. No, I read that on the way here. I'm telling you, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told Steve that in the car. I was like, oh my god, yeah. the audacity of her. Wait, yeah. what was the caption? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. You, yes. How you leave the goat for playing football? Yo, you know what's crazy? Tom Brady has told us, Schultz, for years he's retiring at forty-five. Now, so if I know that, why doesn't his wife know that? Now, here's the question. <laughs> here's the question. Yes. We all think that this is an L for Tom right now. It's the first time we've seen him uh, catch one maybe in his entire career. But here's the thing. He's about to leave football and go into business. And if he has the same success, same success in business as he had in football, this guy's going to be a fucking billionaire. Now. Or he got a $350 million contract waiting, right now. waiting for him right now. That's the, and that's the work. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, let me ask you a question. Wouldn't you like to get divorced before your wife took half of that? Mm. that that's question number one. Question number two. Wouldn't you like to get divorced if your wife was worth more than you when you knew immediately after this year you were going to be worth as much? Wouldn't you like to take half of her shit before you go make all your goddamn money? This guy's a genius. You sounds worth more than time? Yes. That's She's it. the breadwinner in that family, yo. Google that. That's what uh, that's not city boys unequivocally. Shit. City what? boys. Are you? City boys are Just up sell right now. Me more than Tom Brady. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. City boy. But that he is an OG city boy right there. Do you know how to spell? What, how did, what money Hell? does she make? This guy. <laughs> what? This I'm just guy. making sure, even though it's right there on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, <just> wanna... <laughs> I see you struggling over there. You put two yeah. Z. J. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I Wait, like how the do you hair I like that. Name. I like that slick back with the pony. I do. I like the slick back with the ponytail. All right, let's it see. It out your face. <laughs> it does. Four hundred million. Giselle Bouston? Brazil model. Yes, actress. dude. She's one of the biggest models world. in the world. That's crazy. Brady is 200. Wow. She got double his shit. Okay, so check it, right? We get divorced now. I snatch half of yours, and then I leave my playing career where I'm getting <laughs> pennies second. compared to you, <laughs> and then I go make my $350 million deal, which I keep all of, and I do my Uggs. I do my uh, all these other different businesses where I'm going to make crazy fucking money because now I can focus on building these businesses. I'm going to be a billionaire off of you. That's a great theory, but if I got that much money and my wife got that much money, can we just please leave? <laughs> Amicably? Yeah, whatever the word is. Tom Brady's a winner, not a tire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this man told tie. You know what I'm saying? Come on, There will now. be no draws. <laughs> Ain't no draws out here, yo. Uh-uh. Come on, motherfucker been eating Tom's avocado like, ice cream for a decade. Uh, you think he's going to take none of that? I'm like, my record is 7-3. richest three. woman in the world. Really? Yes. In entertainment, in the entertainment world. All jokes aside, though, if I'm Tom Brady, man, I don't love football that much, bro. Like, I, I'm a Tom Brady's a fucking psychopath. Yes. And that's the thing that people don't talk about enough. Yes. There is no way at 45 years old when you have dominated a sport, you're the greatest winner the NFL has ever seen. You have more Super Bowls than franchises in the league, mm -hmm. and you can't hang it up? What more is there to do? I mean, n not be around your wife. <laughs> a lot of people just do shit to not be around their wife. Bro. I think that's what it was. he did retire for two months. Yeah, and he was like, "Fuck this, this is boring." Damn. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, she don't even speak English. Like, I didn't know you didn't speak English. What if he's a masochist? <laughs> <laughs> what if he's a ma I think Tom Brady's a masochist. Ooh. I think he likes pain. I think Ooh. he likes punishment. Like, well, then he would like being with his. Not emotional. Oh, 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 oh. Physical. Physical, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah, emotional yeah, yeah. might be too much for him. Yeah, yeah. don't like the you emotional pain. Tom Wilter under Yo, emotional stress. Wow. Wow. Damn, Tom. That's a good theory you got, though. I don't know. It might be. And if he does, it, the dude can't stop. That's his greatest Super Bowl. <laughs> his greatest Super Bowl is that. His greatest Super Bowl is that. Have the most beautiful kids ever with oh, one of the most man. beautiful women that's ever graced the planet. Take half of her money. And uh, then go become a billionaire on your own. Bro, I had no idea you said it was worth that much. That, and that's my fault for stereotyping yeah, models. you can't stereotype them. Man. I had no idea. Not just these OnlyFans thoughts making money. I had no idea, bro. 400 million? Wow. Damn right, dude. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Oh, no. Well, you know, we, we got a... Why do you think what AB did was corny? Was posting the, oh, just because she's going through the divorce? And it's just whack to he be like... Put he, put his, he put the fingers he like this, which is kind of... I don't know. Is that alluding to what is sex? That mean? His thing is the glove. So I think that's like, put that shit on. 
you know, uh, the dance. The dance. I know he got a dance. I think um, Tom Brady doesn't give a fuck. I don't even think. That motherfucker <laughs> care. You think he's he cares a about that? Hell yeah. Uh, okay. I don't think he's wanting anybody split in that You don't want nobody posting your wife. Yeah, don't post don't my wife, what yo. The caption is. Don't, don't post my wife, Happy yo. birthday. Yeah. He should, he should not be posting her. No, that's why. I mean, it, now, happy birthday is wild. He said happy birthday? No, no. Just what was the caption? That's wild. What was the, <laughs> that's what was the wild. caption? I said it doesn't well, matter. I need the, the caption. Cap- I know. I do it need said, to see put the caption. Shit, I was this. Yeah. Nah, bro. That's well, first the wife. Well, you should be mad at the wife for hugging. Don't them. post my wife. It was yo. a celebration. Nah. Put that shit on. Yup. She shouldn't hug him. Shit, because it's shit like this. Because <laughs> in the future, <laughs> same re- same way, re- re- reason I tell y'all to stop. Having sex with guys, because in the future, the more y'all That's grow, I mean. the more y'all grow. Motherfucker well, be posting y'all put that That's shit facts. on. You saw what happened to Ice Spice. <laughs> what happened to what? Ice Spice? Uh, I don't know if it's her, but a video leaked of her just getting crazy back shots and queefing. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> what? The much is revenge. <laughs> the much is revenge, yo. That's what the fuck happened. He out here calling motherfuckers much is reducing yo, us to actions. I'm not gonna lie. That's what happened. Munch. Is the first time that women have developed a word that men are uh, bothered by. <laughs> it is every other one that y'all say is just something we say to you, and that it, you didn't develop your own shit. This is the first time women developed a word True. to call men that we are offended by, and you could tell we're offended because we're like, "Oh yeah, I'm a munch." Like we're doing all these I don't like, like the way it sounds. Exa- there we go. Fucking munch. Exactly. Just a munch. Fuck you, yeah, what are you talking about right. You know what I'm saying? Has your wife played with you like that yet? Nah, nah, she, oh, okay. she, she, she don't know who fuck ice spices. <laughs> <laughs> ice spice, put that in a recipe. That's I know, right? I, man. That, that's why I be in therapy once a week because I know I got mad insecurities, bro. What? Because I can walk around the house saying, "Oh, you thought I was feeling you?" Yeah, yeah. As soon as I hear somebody else in the house saying, "I'm like, yeah, that's me." Shut <laughs> up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut <laughs> up! I fucking say shit. My goddamn house about munch this. Yeah, no. Nah, fuck you in the pantry talking about you thought I was feeling name, you. Name a name a name <laughs> for dudes. What's that mean? What? Taylor says small meats. Them meats. S- what is small meat? meat? What is small meat? meat? Sm- meat small meat. Sounds like. Don't call me no fucking meat. Yo. Yes, meat. <laughs> Don't call me no. Smeat. Even that is whatever. Smeat. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> a, y'all look bothered right now. Nah, because yeah. smeat sounds crazy. Because all I'm going to do is say, yeah, I skeet with on you, you throat. With smeat? Oh. <laughs> you don't, don't want to say that. Smeat. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> throat. Throat is crazy. We throat can just call crazy. women throat and they'll be so crazy. upset. Jaw, jaw, throat, esophagus. That's it. Esophagus is mad long. But if you girls walked in, we're like, yo, what's up, throats? And then we just kept on doing it. Like, yeah, they would be so upset, right? Like, they would be so upset. That's, That's what I'm it. saying. My brothers, y'all got to flip it. You get called a munch, call her a throat. Call her a throat. Get her right back to it. Don't even yeah. hesitate. Don't hesitate. That's it. You not hesitate. Oh, this dude's a munch. Call you a munch? Oh, what's, what's up, throat? throat? Yeah, what's up, throat? That's it. What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> what is that fucking, what is that? Sparrows and locusts? What is, what, what? All right, let's get this. Let's get this. What an <laughs> what idiot moment is? in history. <laughs> In 1958, <laughs> Chinese communist leader Mao Zedong decides, who, who thought of this one, decided sparrows were hurting the country's food supplies by eating too much stored grain. His solution was to kill off China's sparrows. Citizens were encouraged to poison and shoot sparrows as well as destroy their nests as part of the Smash Sparrows campaign. Young children were given slingshots. The campaign was successful and hundreds of millions of sparrows were killed. Okay. And it's- One problem, sparrows eat locusts. Ooh. And once all the sparrows were gone, locusts, free from their main predators, started eating all the crops. Ooh. Mao tried introducing millions of bed bugs to eat the locusts and other insects, but it was too late. The crops were lost and China's great famine began. Holy wow. shit. Wow. People were forced to eat rats. Forced. Mice oh. and even mud. <laughs> yeah, you should. Come on, with that force. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maybe force eat rats without a side of veggies, but they were still eating them. Oh man! The mass deaths of sparrows and nationwide loss of crops oh, resulted man. in untold millions starving and twenty to thirty million people dying 
from 1958 to 1962. What a fucking idiot man was. Do you think it's Cap? Cap! Talk to me. All this shit is Cap. Talk to me. This was all a story created to explain one thing. Wish us. Why they eat Why rats. They eat rats. <laughs> Why they eat rats. All the locusts took off to the shut up. You really think they could kill all the sparrows? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no, come on, Ain't guys. no way, bro. The fuck? Kill a sparrow Chris, you believe this? Get the fuck out of here. How can you? There's no way you could kill every this sparrow is, this is with what slingshots. Year? In 1960, you think they were just handing out slingshots to all these Chinese kids? There's slingshots no and poison, out. Chris? No, no. Come on. No, no. So if I go to China right now, there's no sparrows. They bought 250,000 from the Soviets at the end of the year. Chris just said they bought 250,000 sparrows, which is wild. That the Soviets are just keeping a quarter million sparrows it. around. I don't believe this. All these it. numbers are crazy. I don't believe this. Yeah, I don't believe you none of this. You mean to tell this me that cat. there's an unlimited supply of rats in China, but Y'all sparrows, eat rats, yo. Like, stop. Chris. How the fuck did the, the uh, bubonic plague get to Europe? By how? What? Rats. Rats through the trade routes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> the Black Plague. Okay. In Europe. <laughs> That killed one third of the European population. I know that, but what do you say? Like, what? comes from China. I knew that, and it got here through rats. <laughs> I don't. My point is, there's always been rats in China. They always been eating them motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. There's a, they, but they said this. They, they said this. They, no, no. They said the rats snuck onto the ships. They were food, bro. Oh, they had they, them oh, on the ships in as the lunchbox. Yes, exactly. got you. Word. <laughs> right. I thought box. I was feeling you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that rat is a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Chris regretted ever putting this segment yep. on the podcast. I don't believe that. I just don't, I just don't believe it's this. Half, I don't believe it's that they half. killed all these sparrows with slingshots and poison and fucking... Ah, it's too much, nah, man. I don't you have mad Chris. rats. Like, deal with it. Like, you're a ratty place. Do you know what I mean? And, and, New, and, New York got mad rats. We're never like, oh, we had to kill all the pigeons and then the rats took over. We just got rats. They were just born. We're a ratty city. Yo. That's right. That's right. That's we're right. a rat infested city. That's, That's right. what New York is. And we we own that shit. <laughs> Let's do some yeah. ass. We own it, killing. bro. We don't You're make right. these stupid ass stories. Yo, yo, rats are part. Yo, rats are so much part of New York. They got the fucking big floaty shit. Um, What's the big? What's yeah, the, when the unions are protesting. Oh, whatever. Exactly. Rats are a mascot for New York. So, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, Split exactly. up. Yeah. Split it's part of the culture. That's right. You really believe that China didn't have rats when the leader's name is Mouse? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is, Listen, points are being rough made. Joke, rough joke. Yeah. All right. Rough joke. This was a great brilliant history lesson. <laughs> I tried, bro. It I tried. Banged, it banked off the back. I, I tried, bro. <laughs> Listen, you know, I thought we it was shoot clever. here, bro. I we thought shoot. it was clever. You know what I mean? We shoot. Okay. <laughs> I still see a 30 point game. All right. <laughs> let's do some mask and idiots. All right, let's do it. Young Taylor gang. Taylor got trapped in Florida, flew right into the eye of the hurricane. Really? No. Yes, she did. I didn't get you Man, was gone happened? a week. For a wedding. I miss Taylor too. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I did. I miss Taylor. Taylor was gone for two weeks, bro. You what? You're always saying that because I gave you a mean face. She said, What? What are you saying? You're only saying that because she gave you a mean face. Oh, I thought you called me a smeet. That's what I heard. I was like, I know I ain't just hit him. What the fuck I thought I heard? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, this is a good one. King Grant 95 said, is it possible to have home work balance if you're building something new? I think this person meant work life balance. Yeah. That's a great question. Mm. Um, no. Nah. Nah. I mean, no, you can, but you're not going to probably want to. And you're not going to succeed. Like, you need to just have an insane grind. You just need to have an insane grind. And then that insane grind will drive you to success, and that will be your competitive advantage. But, like, if you're trying to build a new business, like, Steve Jobs ain't have no fucking, what is it called? Nah. Work-life balance. Nah. Like, that dude was all work. And the greats do it. You're, and you know what's so interesting about that? You're not even going to realize it's consumed you the way it has. Yeah, if you love it. If you love it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you're building something new. You're into it. You know what it might do for the ecosystem. You believe in it. Like, you're not going to think about anything except for that. Yeah. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm talking about, regard. you might get on the toilet and take that shit. You're going to get right off and think about that project. Facts. You might be with your woman and, you know, bong, bong. But as soon as you're done, you're going to be thinking right about, 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 about that project. So, yeah, the work-life balance, you're not even going to want it when you're building you 100%. Know, something new. 
Uh, will Charlotte ever get to the point where he tases someone at a Cowboys game? Ooh. No, I am not my father. Salute to my dad, <laughs> Cowboy. Glad you remember that story. Great story, by the way. Unbelievable story. He tased the Marine on 9-11 at MetLife Stadium, bro. I didn't know those two extra parts. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that was the whole thing. It was 9-11, Cowboys-Jets game. I forgot what year it was. Wow. And he walked right in with his taser, man. And, you know, he was hurt. Uh, well, he grew up Jehovah Witness, and Annie was, like, hurt. So him and his wife didn't stand up. And um, the Marine, when they tried to stand up, the Marine wow. was like, nope. Y'all didn't stand up for the anthem. I'm not standing up for you. Mm -hmm. My dad hit him with that juice. <laughs> what do you? Who? Yeah, the Marine said, I'm not moving. Mm. My, my dad's wife was trying to go, get up to go to the bathroom. The Marine was like, I'm not moving. Y'all didn't get up for the anthem, so I'm not moving. Uh, my dad said, sir, please get the fuck up. And he didn't get up. And then bye, 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 bye. Hit him with the juice. That's what? this recession, an economy question that you keep denying. It's, we're not in a recession, yo. No, that's not what it says. I mean, says, literally, technically, we are. But do y'all think the economy will officially hit a recession after midterms? It's Chad more a, Solos. No. It's more of a political question. Yeah, the Democrats will never say that we're in a recession. There you go. That's <laughs> not <laughs> what he adds. He said, will it officially hit a recession? No, because they'll never officially announce it's a recession. Is Charlemagne going to surprise us with an epic Marvel costume? And what is Schultz going to be? This is for Halloween. Damn. You got something? You said, fuck your question. <laughs> I did. How'd you feel about that? Sorry, Nala. I how apologize. You feel, tell me how you feel. He's about white. That. I'm used to white people getting in their oh, way. Shit. Mm. Oh, shit. Yo, why shit. you take it so much? Oh, now? shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, step up. Yo. Damn. Munch. Yeah, he, yo, he reduced you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he reduced you to a, he reduced you to a white man, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I you could have just said no, show. I, I said munch. munch. <laughs> I'm a white man. I'm a white munch. I'm a proud white munch. I don't think you're just a white man, bro. I don't think, I think, like, you're, I'm not just a white man, but I am a white guy. Spicy yeah. mayo. You know what I mean? Schultz has a lot. He's a, he, Schultz might be actually more annoying I than I hate white when man. people do that shit, though. But, like, <laughs> I, I, no, you know, I hate when people do this shit. This shit is wild racist, but it, nobody said, but when they're like, you're cool, you're not really white. <laughs> it implies <laughs> that being white is bad. Cool. <laughs> I know a lot. Let me tell you something. I know a lot I'm of white. I'm white and I'm hey, fire. I know a lot of white men. <laughs> I yeah. know one Andrew Schultz. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Come Andrew's on, Andrew's a different breed. I, I like that. And, and not because he's not white, man. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. I'm, a, I'm out here. I'm a munch, and I'm looking for smadge. What? what? Small vag. You acting like oh. you, you've been acting like you ain't married the past couple of weeks. You better simmer down, bro. Oh, that's right. I'm married. Bro. That's right, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be for Halloween. Simmer down, bro. Okay. I mean, <laughs> so your wife put out her own infamous special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll show you who the fuck is infamous. Right. Oh my god. Uh, Charlotte, what's your costume this year? This is hilarious. That right here is a hilarious fucking What question. sounds racial but actually is it? No. Oh. We can go back. Oh, what, oh, let's go to that one. What the heck the 13? What sounds racial but actually isn't? Oh, that's easy. What? Nicaragua. Woof. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> Nicaragua, bro. Yeah, that one's kind of crazy. Arnold yep. Schwarz Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, uh, what is it? What'd you say? Huh? New Guinea? No, I'm okay New with Guinea. that one. <laughs> no. Oh. New Guinea. Yeah. Guinea. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that crazy. is true. Fuck. <laughs> that is crazy. You man. know how you know that could work? Why? Just say it to somebody walking down the street. New Guinea. Yeah. <laughs> The fuck you say to me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. said, where's New Guinea? This is a hilarious question. All right. Do kids intimately like chicken nuggets? Not intimately, innately. Innately. Oh, do kids... In <laughs> <laughs> it is actually idiot. This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. <laughs> and that's what he thought it was a great question. That's fucking it crazy. It is. A, yo, because kids do love chicken nuggets in an intimate way, bro. Or do we way, teach bro. them to like... <laughs> in an intimate way, bro? Kids aren't in intimate. Bro. Kids aren't intimate, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Watch a child bite into a chicken nugget and... I'm, mm, I'm good. Mm. I'm good. Don't let I'm Charlemagne near a McDonald's ever again. <laughs> <laughs> do okay? kids innately like chicken nuggets or do we teach them that? They innately like it because they put all that shit the kids like in it. Bro, it's got... Yo, chicken 
nugget kids are yo we and we chicken nugget kids to death. We really do, yo. I no, love I chicken really nuggets. Now. I like chicken tenders though. Give me a chicken dice. tenders way better. I don't fuck with chicken nuggets. Yeah, I don't like the nuggets. Give me I the like chicken tenders. tenders. I do not fuck with chicken nuggets. I never fuck with chicken nuggets. I thought it was trash chicken. Chicken tenders though, slap. That's an adult food. I had to eat too many nuggets. When I used to go to McDonald's back in the day, I would get twenty chicken nuggets. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah. I go to Chick Fil A now. I get four tenders. I'm fucking good. exactly. Or if four you get scripts. the little what what is it? The small versions in Chick Fil A, bites. They call them chicken butt. I don't like the bites. But they ain't nugget. I don't like the bites. They're bites not too nugget. Little. I like them scripts, bro. Them chicks feel like them two goddamn bananas you was eating earlier. Like, God damn, I miss them bananas, shit. bro. Them should be oh thick God. and meaty, you know I what I mean? I miss them Dip fucking bananas, bro. Bite that motherfucker, man. I, I, I. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, yo. Listen. Uh, let's do one more, Taylor. Let's get a good one. What are you dressing up as, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see that question. That's a good one to end on. What are you dressing up as? Are you gonna do some crazy Marvel shit? You no, gonna I don't dress think I, up I, as... I think I've, I've, I've been. I ain't gonna lie. I've been feeling very old school wrestlerish. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you know Hulk Hogan. Nah, Hulk is whack. It's just yellow underwear and a fucking mustache. The Rock is whack too. Like you know what I mean? Like gold dust. I've been thinking about <laughs> I've been thinking about Sting, bro. Gold dust would be fire. <laughs> gold dust, I would fire. slap with gold dust. <laughs> Gold dust will confirm a lot of shit for people. Yes, so. it would. Gold dust might be fired. I was, you know, I like I'm now that Alex said, it, I'm thinking about. I was thinking Sting. Gold dust would be dope. Damn nah, my, Sting would be kind of lit, man. You think Sting would be better than Gold Dust? Yeah, Gold Dust. The reason I would do Sting is because of the overcoat, because it's wintertime. White face too would be lit. <laughs> but the Gold <laughs> Dust that outfit, yo, Taylor would be so fucking jealous. jealous. She would be me. jealous. And the Gold Dust outfit, oh my. God. God, I got my fucking costume. What already. you got? What you got? Doctor Umar Johnson. Yo, fire, <laughs> fire. Umar said he'll do flagrant, but you got to pay him. I won't pay him, but I will donate to the school. Ooh, I don't pay guests. Umar, that's the that's the that's the good one, and that's important now because then we get to see mm. what's the most important. That's true. I will donate to the school. Gold dust. Yo, my 41, 36, 43 would look so crazy in that fucking suit. Charlamagne, <laughs> you will look like a fucking bumblebee. <laughs> That's not what you, you wanted to say. Us. You wanted to take it back to the 90s. Right. What was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to take it back to the 90s so bad just now. <laughs> Y'all think I might do gold dust, bro. That's I, gold dust, hell. Alfred is fire. You gotta Taylor put just, the hair Taylor on. Taylor just went to a picture of Gold Dust and said, you want to be this person too? Nah, you got to put the hair on too, bro. That's crazy. The only thing, uh, the makeup. See, with Sting, you could just wear the mask. I don't know. I don't know, bro. You could get a mask. Sting or Gold Dust? I might let y'all vote. Gold wild Dust? boy. Gold Dust was a wild boy. You should let them vote. I don't even know if he would identify as a boy in 2022. <laughs> what would he identify as? A they. Whoa. Sting, man. Yeah, Sting. Sting was fire, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Oh, if I do Wolfpack's thing. Mm. Ooh, I don't know yet. You got your, you said you got yours? You said you can be Dr. Umar? I'm going to try to be Dr. Umar, yeah. How can you do that without blackface? Um, I'll, I won't do blackface, but I'll do um, other things. You know? I can see. I can see. I can do beard. You do the beard. I can do the beard. I don't, can, can I do the uh, Kente? Can I do the cat? Don't ask call? me. I don't want no parts of this. <laughs> Hello, <guys. laughs> She's Taylor saying I need to put on weight. I think that's disrespectful. No, nah, Umar, he's not fat. He like, yeah. you know, he husky. I got to find husky. a way. I got to find a way. I'll find a way. All right. Uh, I think we did it, guys. We did it, baby. That's it. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart. You think we're intelligent. You think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.